We're here with another episode of Meet the Maker. Today, Melissa Stedman from Steady Hands Crochet has come into the shop. She yarn bombed us today, just in time for April Fool's Day. So we took this opportunity to get a, to know Melissa a little bit better. So thanks for coming in, Melissa. Thank you, Nicole, for having me. You're welcome. So tell us, how are you affiliated with the military? Well, I married someone who was well into his Navy career and uh, will be retiring this year, but um, he's had a nice long career and I kind of joined him midway through his uh, awesome. career. So were you crocheting when you met him or did you just start this? Or? No, I sewed and knit when I was a kid and I just couldn't get the hang of crochet. I'm left-handed, so I just felt like it was just beyond my reach to get the tension right for any good projects. I picked it up a few years ago when my boys were young and I just couldn't um, sit still in front of the television. So wow. now I can't sit in front of the television without a hook and yarn. So, <laughs> nice. Yeah, and then my friends started to see my stuff and they just said, well, I've got something or another coming up. Can you make this or that for me? So that's where I started. That's awesome. So how long have you been in business now? I've had my actual business for about a year and a half. Wow. At Etsy shop, I've started selling through Facebook and ramping up my Instagram as well. Awesome. So have you always been in Rhode Island or have you guys moved? No, around? I actually grew up in Rhode Island in Warwick and I actually went to Tollgate High School not far from here. Nice. Uh, but then I went to New York for about 11 years and then married my husband and we traveled from, we always started in Virginia, got married here in Middletown, uh, went to Hawaii, Virginia, Hawaii, Virginia. Oh my goodness. San Diego <laughs> and now we're here. Wow. And so you're going to stay once you retire? Yeah, you think? yeah we're looking to stay here. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. So where do you see Steady Hands Crochet in a few years? Are you, are you uh, looking to expand? I am. Or? I'm, I'm ramping it up. I just bought my domain name and I'm working on a website uh, to awesome. sell directly through there. Um, I love all kinds of custom projects and really the biggest problem I have is that I have so many ideas and I come in here and Nicole and I have so many ideas together for my stuff. I just don't have enough time in the day exactly. <laughs> to actually finish them. And right. My hands, I only have two right now. So <laughs> anybody wants to help We're me, working on that, me. right? <laughs> contact me if you want to help me. Oh, awesome. I just have to say, you know, there's people who crochet, but then there's people who crochet and you are absolutely amazing Thank at you. what you do. It's more art than I think Thank you. A, a product. You know, I just think everyone has to come in here, touch and feel just how amazing your work is. Thank you. I just, I found that this is a medium for me that's a lot more flexible than knitting. Yeah. So you can do round stuffed things yes. and you can do flat things and it's all kinds of stitches and similar to knitting, but it's just... And show, what, show us what you're holding, the Easter basket. Oh, um, so I made an Easter basket. It's the super soft yarn, but can be used for all kinds of things. It's got a small uh, piece of tubing in it to keep it, the structure of this, but it's in this camo pattern just for the military community. And um, it's really ha beyond Easter. You can move around the, the ribbons or whatever, but yeah. it's a nice addition to my, to my line for spring. I love it. So what's your favorite, do you have a favorite thing I should ask? to make. Do I have a favorite thing to make? Um, I really, I love to make things that people think I can't. Yes. Make. Like the rugs that we had in here were The rugs amazing. were fun. Those weren't my pattern. I am working yeah. on some more patterns, but to take someone else's beginning and really take it to the next level, or if yeah. someone comes to me and I like to interview people who say, you know, I need a baby gift, but, and I say, what are the parents into? Are they Star Wars fans? Are they retro geeks, are they right. affiliated with the military or not, and all those kinds of things that give the personality and put that right back in the piece. That's awesome. So you obviously do custom work. Yeah. Would you say that's your biggest oh, aspect well, of your business I'm now? I'm trying to get more uh, of a product line so yeah. it's easier for people to shop nice. uh, and reaches a broader uh, market. Right, right. Uh, but I love doing custom things, and I also have finished some pieces that people have that maybe a loved one has left behind. So if your grandmother has five million squares and you don't know what to do with them, whether they are knit or crochet. That's amazing. Or um, a baby blanket you haven't had time to finish because it's your third. I did one of those one time. <laughs> um, I can help you finish those That's things. That's awesome. In, in your style or in the person you want to remember in their style. So that is wonderful. Yeah. That's really cool. So um, how can we help you? We're here to support you in Steady Hands Crochet. What do you want from us? Oh, I just love good ideas. I come okay. in here and uh, Nicole gives me good ideas, but I love talking with some of the people who come through here as well. Yeah. And Nicole's given me a great platform to uh, come into Operation Made and be supported as a spouse, as a military spouse, 
and a military spouse business too. I mean, that's huge. It is. Yeah. There are so, a lot of supportive groups for that, but it's great to see it one on one and yeah. letting her, uh, letting me be able to kind of expand my reach from little things to the big things like the yarn bomb I did today <laughs> um, that I kind of bumbled my way through. But um, come come down and see it and tell me what you think. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And I know you'll be coming in soon to do a, like a meet and greet with people. Yeah. They can come in and yep. place custom orders. So we'll let, every, let everybody know about those dates thank you. as soon as we have them mailed down. So thanks for coming in. Thank you.